The last 5K iMac was released just over a year ago to subtle fanfare. There were a number of great upgrades to the new iMacs like a T2 chip, better graphics, new cameras, and more. However, they were completely overshadowed by the then upcoming Apple Silicon Macs, and they lacked a fresh new design. And the M1 Macs have been incredible with their amazing performance to power ratio, stability, overall snappy feeling, and in the case of the 24 inch iMac, the fresh new design people were looking for. But no matter which Mac I use, whether it's an Intel or M1, MacBook Pro with a display or M1 iMac or any other Mac really, I always feel something is lacking and I keep returning back to the 5K iMac for desktop use. Hey, I'm Jerry and the 5K iMac might just be the perfect Mac. Please just keep the vulgarities to a minimum and allow me to explain, okay? Okay, when I say the perfect Mac, I mean the perfect Mac for sitting at a desk and getting stuff done. From just casually surfing the web, basic document creation and watching Netflix, to demanding workloads like graphic design, programming, and video rendering. There are other options for using a Mac in this way, whether that's a MacBook with an external display, a Mac mini, or even the new 24 inch M1 iMac. And sure, you could say the Mac Pro, but I'm going to leave that out of this discussion completely because of the price and because I want to. But compared to the 5K iMac, those other options I just mentioned require compromises, where the 5K iMac just doesn't. Let's take the form factor for instance. The 27 inch iMac is an all-in-one desktop machine. That means you take it out of the box and you have everything you need to use the device, including computer, display, speakers, camera, mouse, and keyboard. You could say that the MacBook Air and MacBook Pro also are all-in-one devices. However, using them by themselves at a desk is not the most comfortable. To match desk usability and ergonomics, you would need to purchase an external display and maybe even a keyboard and mouse. For the Mac Mini, you for sure need a display keyboard and mouse, plus speakers and the webcam. For simplicity's sake, the 5K iMac is just ready to go right out of the box. And everything it comes with is pretty good. It doesn't just have a check the box webcam. In fact, the T2 chip is powering a 1080p webcam to give a pretty good webcam experience that is bright and looks great. The T2 chip also powers the EQ and bass response, a super fast SSD, security, and more. When it comes to that display, man, pound for pound, it offers the best overall display performance, in my opinion. At 27 inches and a resolution of 5120 by 2880, that brings a super crisp 218 pixels per inch with a default working resolution of 1440p, text is incredibly sharp and photos pop with that P3 wide color. The display gets up to 500 nits of brightness and you can actually watch HDR content. Now, if you want a sharp third-party display for a Mac, there are plenty of 4K displays out there and I've tried half a dozen in the last year. Some of them are really nice and have great features like 120 hertz on a gaming display or pretty accurate colors factory calibrated out of the box. Some have nice modern designs, but on a 27 inch monitor, the native resolution of 4K makes everything just too small. The pixel doubling for retina makes everything too big. Scaling a 4K display to 1440p looks good, but it's just not as sharp as a 5K iMac. Beyond just the 4K resolution, third-party 4K displays just can't hold a candle to the iMac with brightness, color accuracy, and display quality. Many monitors exhibit color shifting or darkened edges. Even comparing the 5K display to the 24-inch 4.5K display on the M1 iMac and the 32-inch 6K Pro Display XDR, which both have the same 218 pixels per inch, the 27-inch still just wins out in my opinion because I simply feel like 27 inch is the perfect size. There are plenty of good displays out there, but I just haven't found any that match the 5K iMac's all around package. The built-in display of the 5K iMac is simply the most consistent, well-rounded display I have seen. And that's before considering integration with macOS for things like auto brightness, control from the keyboard and true tone. Now, if there was one thing I could change about the display on the 5K iMac, it's the height adjustment. Well, and maybe adding ProMotion. The height of the iMac is just a little shorter than I would prefer, and I'm not that tall. And it's been like that since the iMac G5. Having the option to adjust the height would make a big difference in ergonomics and comfort. Instead, I use this bamboo stand from Calibri, which raises it to just the right amount for me. And I like it, it looks pretty good. 
When it comes to performance, the 5K iMac is still a major player. The M1 processor Apple announced last year gets all of the attention because of its power to performance ratio, integrated GPU, and unified memory. And it really is great. I have a ton of videos on the M1 computers because Apple keeps just tossing those things and everything it makes lately. But you know what? Even the i5 version of the iMac 5K still holds its own against the M1 in processing power. The i5 and the M1 trade jabs, but the i5 and the i7 versions of the iMac 5K beat out the M1 in Cinebench R23 multi-core scores, even though the M1 does win out in single and multi-core Geekbench CPU tests. For GPU, the M1 just can't even touch the discrete graphics cards in the i5 iMac, starting with the Radeon Pro 5300. Not to mention the 5500 XT or even the 5700 XT found in the i7 versions. From daily office apps and browsing to video editing and light gaming, the 5K iMac just doesn't break a sweat. To me, in regular day-to-day -day usage, the 5K iMac still performs extremely well and, dare I say, perfectly. Often, I'm using the M1 where I have a ton of tabs open in Safari, Final Cut, Pixelmator, Citrix, Office Apps, Teams, and other things where I start to feel the computer hesitating. The M1 does a crazy good job with the limited memory, but I can stuff 128 gigabytes of memory into this 5K iMac. There are times when the M1 Macs feel faster, for sure, like launching certain apps, playing back certain file types, small tasks due to the faster single core speed, and features built into the chip. But my 5K iMac never feels like it's hesitating or running slow, even with every app I need open. On the back side of the iMac, you're going to find something that is becoming more and more rare on a Mac. Built-in ports. Yes, there are many ways to get extra ports on your MacBook or M1 Mac Mini with something like the CalDigit TS3 Plus, which I do use and love with every Mac I use. However, the 5K iMac comes with all of the ports most people need right out of the box. There's a one gigabit ethernet port, two Thunderbolt ports for displays, SSDs, or docks, four USB-A ports for all of the USB stuff you already have, an SD card slot, which hopefully makes its way back to the MacBooks, and a headphone jack. I'm sorry, but having built-in ports in a desktop computer is just right. Unlike other Macs, you probably don't need adapters to use the things you already have with the 5K iMac. Now, I wanna to touch on design just real quick. The 5K iMac looks like an iMac, which looks like iMacs for the last many years, and even looks like the brand new 24 inch M1 iMac. I was one of those people who were initially upset about the M1 iMac design and continuing the chin and the bezels around the screen. I would still like to see a more modern design reducing the bezels and the chin, and maybe we'll get that in a future iMac Pro or something. But for now, this is what an updated iMac looks like, and it's not that different from the 5K iMac. As far as the bezels, again, I complained about them in the M1 iMac. But like any screen, once you start using it and you're focused on the screen or the content, the bezels just kind of fade away. And as it turns out, I can get used to any size bezels and this computer works fantastic, no matter how big or small the bezels are. So like I said at the beginning, the 5K iMac might just be the perfect Mac. Yeah, I stand by that. For a desktop Mac, the 5K iMac has everything you need, all the power you want, ports for all the accessories you have, and a class-leading 27-inch 5K display that is almost impossible to beat, all in a beautiful package that still stands up to the latest and greatest from Apple. In my mind, there's just no compromises when going with the 5K iMac. Now, tell me I'm wrong in the comments, but bring your ammo because I'm gonna defend myself. Hit the thumbs up button if you liked it. Hit subscribe if you want, and I'll see you next time.